Today we are crocheting my current favourite thing to do. First I just want to show you a couple of things I made recently. This is a sweater vest that I made for my friend's birthday. My first time doing the moss or linen stitch and it's probably my favourite stitch at the moment. And I started this one a while ago but I just finished it today. It's a little tie up top. I made it a bit too small which is why I have the tying thing in the middle because I can't actually attach these parts together. I actually knit this one. I usually crochet but I just felt like knitting with this um, colour changing yarn. Here are a bunch of my scrap yarns that I am considering using for this sweater. I don't know if I'll use all of them. Probably not, but these are all of similar weight and thickness that I think could go well together. I think I want this sweater to be a bit oversized and I'm going to go for a 6mm crochet hook. Also here's a teeny tiny swatch or test just to check what kind of stitch I should use and I think I'm just going to go for the classic double crochet. Because blue is the main colour of everything that I make, I think I have to start with this navy blue. Just starting with the chain. I just realised I wasn't counting. 4, 5, 6, 7, 27, 28, 50, 51, 64, 65. 65 might be it. Everything I make always ends up smaller than I initially expect, so I think I'm just going to go bigger. Okay, 71, 72. Surely that is wide enough. Okay, I think I might as well change colours now and I think the way I'm going to do the yarn changing throughout the sweater is with the magic knot. I'm going to go for the white next. So... Two loops. And slide them together. I'm not really sure if I want to trim all the ends short or maybe just leave them and let them pop through the sweater. Maybe I'll leave them for now and I can always weave them in. Okay, so I've got the front panel done. I did a bit of shaping around the neck and I'll add a thicker collar when I've done the back panel as well, which I have started on. Did a decent chunk this morning. So it's coming along nicely. The trough between the mountains and the Morgai had steadily dwindled as it climbed upwards. back panel is now done and I've attached the front and back together at the shoulders. I've also started on the neckline a little bit. I'm going to try adding my knitting needles onto the neckline so that I can knit 
the color ribbing. This is actually my second attempt. My first one, I cast off too tight and then I couldn't get it over my head. But this time it's got a stretchy bind off. And the sleeve didn't take too long. I managed to get that done this morning. I like the idea of it being vertical rather than horizontal lines. And a bit flared towards the end. Time for the second sleeve. With long swords drawn. Before the barrier stood Faramir, and all the host and all the people cried, yea, with one voice. And he all of the always. Come, Gimlet, said Nicholas. Now by Fangorn's leave, I will visit the deep places of the with a rush. And he had a club in his hand, changed his manner of talking. It's done. I'm wearing it. This is exactly what I wanted. Baggy, maybe a tiny bit baggier than I intended, but it's okay. It's really comfy and it can just go over anything. Such a good way to use up colors that I wouldn't use up colors that I don't use. Such a good way to use up yarn that I wouldn't usually use and colors that I don't gravitate towards usually like yellow. I used up a lot of scrap yarn, mostly cotton and acrylic. I started it just under two weeks ago, so it took me about 12 days. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and I would really appreciate a comment as well. And um, subscribe for more videos like this. Other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you soon.